TypeScript also introduces a new type called tuples, which we don't have in JavaScript. You might know tuples from other programming languages, but JavaScript does not have them. So a TypeScript tuple is a fixed length ordered collection of elements where each element has a specific type. This means you explicitly define the type of values that can be stored in each position of the tuple, ensuring type safety and clarity in your code. Let's understand tuples with a simple example. Let's go ahead and let's create a simple array and let's call this array employee. And to this, in order to create an array, we are going to use a set of square brackets and there, let's say we want to store the employee ID, which is 123. We want to store the employee name, which is John. Let's say we also want to store the employee salary, maybe 2000. And we also want to store a value indicating whether the employee is permanent employee or contract based employee. So here I'm also going to store a Boolean value. So when I say true, that means that employee John is permanent employee. If here we have the value false, that means that employee is not a permanent employee. So if I hover over this employee variable now, you will see that the data type of this employee variable has been inferred as an array. As you can see, it has been inferred as an array. And in that array, we can store values of type string or number or Boolean. Right. Now, let's say our requirement is that this array should only hold four values. There should not be a fifth value for this array. And also, the first element of the array must be a number. The second element of the array must be a string. The third element of the array, again, must be a number. And the fourth element of the array must be a Boolean value. So somehow we want to implement these restrictions on this array. How can we do that? For that, we can use tuples. So this tuple, it is basically an array. A tuple in TypeScript gets compiled to an array in JavaScript. Okay, so a tuple is nothing but an array. But a tuple is fixed length. And in the tuple, we can specify the data type for each of the elements. Now, if I want to make this employee array, so currently this is an array. If I want to make this a tuple, all I have to do is, after that, I need to specify the type. So, as I mentioned, a tuple is nothing but an array. So, again, we use a set of square brackets. And in there, we specify the data type for each element. For example, the first element should be a number. So I'll specify the data type as number. The second element should be a string. So I'll specify the data type as string. Again, third element should be a number. And fourth element should be a Boolean value. So here, when we are specifying the type of this employee as tuple, there we have specified four data types. Okay, that means this employee tuple, its length is four. It can only store four elements. And also, in that tuple, the first element must be a number. The second element must be a string. The third element must be a number again. And the fourth element must be a Boolean value. Okay. So this is how we are setting the type for this employee tuple. So if we try to add a fifth element to this tuple, let's say 120, a numeric value, here we should have an error. So as you can see, here we have an error. And the error says, this type is not assignable to type number string number boolean source has five elements so the array which we are trying to assign to this employee it has five elements but the target allows only four elements so you see we have an error here but if i remove that fifth element then we will not have any error in the same way here you see the first element of this tuple must be a numeric value so if i specify a boolean value or a string value here for example, if I specify false, again, we will have an error. And the error says the Boolean is not assignable to type number. So here, since we have specified that the first element of this employee tuple must be a number, if we specify the first element as some other type, a Boolean value or a string value, we will get this error. So it is not allowing this as well. Now, let's try to go ahead and let's try to log this employee tuple in the developer console. Let's save the changes. Let's compile this app.ts file. And as I mentioned earlier, a tuple in TypeScript gets converted 
to an array in JavaScript. So let me also show you that. If I go to app.js and if we scroll down, here you will notice that that tuple has been compiled to JavaScript array. So this employee here, it is not tuple, instead it is a normal array in JavaScript. Now, what is the advantage of using a tuple in TypeScript? It basically allows us to create a fixed length array and it also allows us to specify the data type of each element explicitly. We don't have any such feature in JavaScript. And you might have also noticed that whenever I open app.ts file and app.js file at the same time, you will see these kind of errors. That's because in the app.ts file, we have already defined a variable called employee. So in the app.ts, it is saying that this employee is already defined. So we cannot redeclare it. But as soon as I close this file, this app.js file, that error should be gone. Okay, so we have compiled the code and we are logging the employee. Let's refresh the page here. And you will notice that that employee tuple has been logged here. Basically here we are logging an array, a JavaScript array. So this employee tuple, which we created in TypeScript, it got compiled to JavaScript array. All right. Now, when to use tuple and when to use an array? Well, you can use a tuple over an array when you want to enforce strictness on the array, like when you want a fixed length array and also when you want a specific data type for each element in that array. Another very important point which I want to mention here is that when we create a tuple, we said that the tuple will have a fixed length. So here, when we are specifying only four data types for this tuple, that means this tuple should store only four elements. And we saw that when we tried to assign a fifth element here, it threw an error. But here we also have an exception. And the exception is, if I try to use push method on this employee, so this employee is tuple and on that we can call push method. And if I try to push another element inside this employee tuple, let's say 100, here we are not getting any error. And let me put this console.log statement after we have pushed this element into the employee tuple. Okay, so here we are not getting an error. Ideally, we should get an error because inside this employee tuple, we already have four elements and we are trying to push a fifth element. So here we should get an error. But when we use push method, it is an exception. It does not give us any error. Even if we go ahead and if we compile our code, then also you will not see any error and the code will be compiled successfully. And in the result, you can see that when the tuple has been converted to an array, in that array, we have five elements. So this you always need to remember when working with tuple. When you use push method, at that time, it is not going to give you any error. Even though the tuple has already the number of elements which it needs. After that also, if we try to push a new element, we will not get any error. So this is the case with push method when we use it on a tuple. But generally, if we try to assign an array to a tuple where the number of elements in that array is different from what we have defined for that tuple, we will get an error. For example, if to this employee, if I try to assign a new array where I have a numeric value, then let's say the name is Mark and then let's say the salary is 1200. So you see, we are getting an error. It says that source has only three elements, but the target requires four because we have specified the length of this employee tuple as four. So if I specify the fourth element, let's say false, then we don't have any error. But as soon as I specify one more element here, we get error. So in all other cases, it is going to work as expected, but only in case of push method, it will not throw any error. So this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions related to tuples, then feel free to ask it. In the next lecture, we are going to talk about enum data type.